It's my thing, I mean, oh well. <laughs> Are you right there, Doshi? Sorry, I'm taking the time just uh, posting, posting stuff to places. Now, uh, where's where is it? Uh, no, no, no. Your broadcasts. There we go. <laughs> it's a fast. Anyone's coming? That's good to wear, that's good to wear. Oh wait, I better test something. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, does this work? Oops, wrong one. Uh, wrong word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably ready for when, uh, when Maxwell joins us. Uh, at the moment, I keep pissing off this guy, Lux, because I've uh, freed the slaves that he had under his control. Now, because I decided to hide instead of uh, before he initiated combat, it didn't set it off, so nobody know. So uh, his people didn't just immediately attack me, on mass like it like they normally do. Someone needs to create an app for that. <laughs> you call accounts in i.e. Twitter and then post things as it goes on. Yeah, that that would be a good idea. Hey guys. Oh, despite that guy, yeah. That's because I hid first and then took out that one person. Because every other time I've done this, I've pretty much died in the first five seconds. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done this, I just died in the first five seconds because they all come charging at me, and then I'm kind of like, well, shit. <laughs> mm. They're too close together. If I take one out, the other one will react and bloody alert them all. Shit. We saw them get out of the tunnels with the scorchers and the robot. Yeah, yeah, fuck the robot healers. 
Because of that, I now make sure to uh, deliberately uh, stalk out an area first, and then, and then after that, I just try and sort things out. Like you know, try and. Uh, Oh shit, I forgot these two are there. Actually, it's best if I get rid of Lux first. Assuming I can do so without setting off the alarm. Actually, to be honest, I probably can't, can I? No. We need to take him down, that's the thing. Oh yeah, I've got Phantom Doctrine. I've played that quite a bit. Not streamed it, uh, but I've just played it. Uh, let's see. Split up. Hey, over here. Oops, uh... I'll change, I'll change weapon in combat because uh, he's got so much health. There's no point in us being all silent and stealthy. Right, let's give this a try. Oh shit! I don't have that uh, stun attack. I'll alter his mutation actually because uh That is far more useful in this situation because we need to knock that guy out. At least in my opinion, that's the more important thing to worry about. We need to knock him out on his ass. Because then he can't do anything, we just get free hits. <laughs> yeah, I played Phantom Doctrine. I've got I got fairly far in it. The the favourite part I love about Phantom Doctrine is the whole um conspiracy bit, you know, where you link up all the different images to each other. You know what I mean? Where you like take the uh pins and you go to different documents that you've collected. We're like, okay, this word goes with that, this references this. Then you end up kind of looking like a conspiracy nut. <laughs> yeah! I'm pretty certain that alerted everyone it did last time. Oh well, might as well. Ho <laughs> Killed instantly! <laughs> now that nice one. Now that was nice. Although it's like no no, it didn't let everybody. Oh, never mind then. Both. That's it, shoot Lux while he's down. But yeah, that was the fun part I always found about that game was the whole just linking things up.
Um. Thanks, you just set your own man on fire. <laughs> that was smart, I guess. Mm, shit. Because that ability I have, I've created a smoke thing around myself and I can't... Yep, I can't shoot him. So I'm going to have to get exposed to fire. Still blocked by smoke. Up yours. <laughs> oh, I like that. He fell for the floor. Right, we need to take him out. Yes. Lights out. <laughs> he's that's the he's the worst person out of all the other characters on this in this uh, encounter. So you really don't want to fuck with. Uh, you really don't want to uh, get in his way because he does that electric blast and then he does fucking um, oh what's it called? Uh, mind control. So it's just a massive pain in the ass, to be honest. Oh, come on! You could have killed him if you him. We need it. Precious. Because he said we want it, we need it. Oh, come on. Surprise, motherfucker! Woohoo! Actually, that's really helpful. Shame that when I fly up in the air, I can't stay up there for a while. Uh, that ends the turn, doesn't it? Shit. Right, how far can I get? Ah, to there. Okay. Oh. Now that would have been funny if you fell through the fucking floor. No, um. Yes! Woohoo! Oh, yes. Another one down. Now that was a good kill. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. <sighs> well, let's set this up again, because uh, that tank is someone we do not want walking around the place. For obvious reasons, nor him. We did it. I'm guessing he's too far. Yeah, he's too far away, and I can't tackle the uh, the tank. Uh, 
I better heal myself actually. Oh, okay, another action. Okay. Um, hmm. Best if I illuminate them a bit. Make them easier to shoot at. How did the gas. Oh, never mind. Can I? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah. Like, right, fuck you. Out of reach. God damn it. Fuck you! I should reload my weapon first. Reach fuck's sake. <clears throat> Blocked by smoke. All the smoke spread out over here then, okay. Oh. Come on! You get a charge and shoot, that's bullshit. Uh. Alright, take out that fucking tank. Or Borman is out cold. up. Alright. Oh, thank God I have a second weapon. <laughs> Don't mess with us. Bloody hell. Luck seemed like a nice guy. He feels better. Till he turned into a psycho. Hey, follow me. Uh, Lux got Lux seemed like a good guy until he turned to a psycho. Alright, what did Lux drop? Oh, an EMP grenade. That's handy. Right, is there anything here that I've missed? Um, oh, yeah, back here. I've got to pick his shit up. These people are still peddling. Look, guys, you're free now. Guys? 
Well, I assume it was just a choice thing and that technically they're free. Whatever. Alright, so collect the stuff off him. Let's get back upstairs. I do like there's destructible violence in this, just like, um... Just like XCOM. Weapon parts... Oh, are you serious? How the hell am I meant to grab that? Let's try that again. That's clearly a that's clearly bugged. Look at that. Now there let's we go. get this opened. We need a little damage. Which we may need actually, because uh We're probably gonna be fighting more of those fuckers. Two armor, four hit points. Immune to charge attacks. What's he wearing? Actually, you know what? He should have that. I think she should have the uh, commando thing where you absorb explosive damage. And ducks can have that armor, making them immune to electric attacks. Whew. Oh, wait, there's a bit of a hair because we killed that guy, didn't we? Ah, oh, 45. Ah, uh, 54. So close to getting enough uh, weapon parts. Oh wait, did I? Yeah, I did pick it up. Okay. Okay, right. <laughs> now we need to go that way. We need to reach Eden! Which apparently does exist. <laughs> well, at least I... At least we've found we've uh, found out that it exists. But of course it's not what people think it is. Which is something I said at the beginning when I was streaming this, I was saying it's not likely to give me something what we're thinking of, you know? It's clearly not. Cause it sounded way too romanticized. It, uh, the idea of humans and mutants living together and there being no problems, no issues, no uh, no worries and that you have as much food you have as much food and drink as you want and you're uh, basically you're in the best of care that even the ancients never had which, you know, it was clearly sounded like a lot of horse shit to me. <laughs> if anything, it sounded something that um, either you discover it and it's been destroyed, or you discover it and it's nothing like you imagined, or you discover it and things on the surface look like what the legends say, but when you actually dig into the surface you find that uh, the leaders are a bunch of assholes who... Uh, want to kill you, or enslave people and such. I've seen way too many things like that, zombie stuff and things. Like how uh, in... Oh, uh, what's it called? That's the biggest wall I've ever seen. It's surrounding the entire city. They were trying to keep people out? Trying to keep people in. Hmm. The Red Plague started in this city. It spread fast, got out of control. 
So the powers that be build a wall around the city to quarantine it, to stop the people inside from infecting the world. Doom them all. <laughs> that was a long time ago, but people are still scared to go in. That's why they call it the Forbidden City. So the plague might still be in there. Can you tell me again why we're going this way? Hammond said the Nova sect were moving around the city. Hmm. We cut through the city. We get to Eden first. That's the idea. We cut through the city and we get there first. Not the best of plans in the world, but you know what? I don't have a better one. After all, it's not like they've got a flying machine or anything that could help them get there any other way. Plus, it's a waste against, it's a waste against time. We can't just sit around. We have to beat the Nova sect to Eden. And then also find out exactly what Eden is. And to be honest, I think I'd be kind of... As much as like part of me likes to romanticise the idea of a end of the world situation, in reality, I'd probably be fucking useless at it. <laughs> Although the only good parts that I could say is that uh, if I'm in a starvation situation, I will eat whatever to survive. And I mean, you know, things like rats and such. Because it's not like you're going to have gourmet meals or anything. Although I might have, because I've got a huge amount of cans in my house. Ridiculous number of cans. Vulcan. Yeah, I believe the creators of this game set this in their country, but I can't remember what it was now. I remember one of my viewers uh, said what it was, but I've really forgotten now. After our hard work has finally started to bear fruit, Central Command has cut our project. Effective immediately, those ignorant cretins are afraid of what wonders we have accomplished. Under the cover of night, I gathered the surviving young and we made our escape into the zone. We are heading to an abandoned facility which remains unmanned since the war. I shall not let my magnum opus be destroyed by those fools. Well, considering what I've heard about your so called magnum opus, sir, uh, maybe you should have. Because apparently he created the. Uh, Looks just like the one outside Hammond's cabin. Apparently, he created the Nova Sect. Or rather, he created. <gasps> Level 60. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't want to tangle with that robot. A bit out of my league, I think. Actually, no, I'm level 60, so... I'm level 55, so... There is a building I'm looking for. I think it's in... Somebody fried this drone. I don't want to find out who. Start a new life off world. New is offering places in a luxurious orbital facility. Orbital? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that was mentioned about the orbital, but the uh the elder suggested that all those places are dead now. Just relics hanging in space with no one uh, in command. But then again he also said Eden was fake and that we shouldn't go there. Oh shit. Ooh. I just remember there's a building 
There's a building, I think it's in this area, there's a building where there's the final relic of the game. EMP grenade, well that's useful. Especially if we want to get past, uh, whoa! Especially if we want to get past all those big robots. Because my silent weapons do do some damage, but not, uh, not enough. But then again, I do have the, uh, stun things on them, so they're likely to stun them again and again. We just keep hitting them like we've been doing. Oh, what's in oh shit. Oh, I didn't know they could fly up like that. Crap. They're immune to the thing, so... I'll change his back to that. Okay, it's gone. Good thing the NPCs don't set them off because sometimes the paths that they go down are just really, really bad. <sighs> oh, before I go any further, I should go back to uh, the East Outpost here. Because back here there were those ghouls that were like level 50 or something. And uh, now that I'm strong enough to take them on, they might be holding some interesting looking gear. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, I'm pretty certain it was this map. Oh, it might have been the map before. I mean, there's only two of them, but I mean, they were level, like, 60, so I was like, ooh, no. Plus, it was part of the tutorial to basically say, this is how to avoid, this is how to avoid enemies, just turn your light off and sneak past them. Do not give them the time of day. Which is very sound advice. Oh no, it's the metal bird then. I knew it was either here or the metal bird. But yeah, I think these guys are right near the entrance, aren't they? Yeah, level 55, okay. And a tank. Break up. Ooh, whatever's over there is glowing gold. Probably a powerful weapon. Alright, oh, I'll have her near the tank and then he can be over there by the Marauder and blow the shit out of him. That's just a tank and a Marauder, this should be very easy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna first tie up the tank and the Marauder. If I can get both, I'm not sure I can. Right. Oh, I can just reach them both. Let's 
take out the water first. Oh, come on! Well, I mean, they're tied up, so they can't uh, attack, really. But the border can't because he's only melee in general. you like that? Yeah, why not? Are they gonna hit? Yes! They both hit! Right, fucking this. <laughs> Sleep it off. Oh man, that was my shot. Follow me. Okay, you dropped me in P grenade. There's some scrap there. But I couldn't loot because, well, yeah. Oh, more scrap here. Right, what's Come in on. this chest? Be something good. <laughs> Fucking boomstick. Well, I mean, no artifact, no really powerful energy weapon that could, uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, it's still the arc for now. Spaceships flying around outside. Well, I don't know about that. They look like drones. Small, compact. Hmm, they are. They are drones. Small, compact. Yeah. Borman already has a boomstick and his is fully uh, leveled up. Alright, let's get Dux's uh, new weapon up there. Ho ho ho! Yes, 13 damage. Oh wait, I didn't realise that. I've got a... Oh wait, that one's two additional quick damage, that's why. Uh, you know what, actually, that's really helpful, the knockback thing. Any good? I mean, we've got better weapons. I mean, we've got better things on them. Like that's the the green eye. <laughs> Borman's uh, needle gun. I still haven't upgraded. <sighs> what do we have here, if anything? Oh yeah, she has that. That weapon I already have, so I don't need to buy that. This is interesting though. Weapon range and hit chance. Critical hit chance. <sighs> mm. Right, I'll actually go to Lou quickly first. Uh, uh, be right back. And I'm back. Oh, this reminds me when I'm catching, when I'm uh, editing the footage, I need to remember to cut those bits out. Anyway, let's see. I mean, a charge attacks, it's very powerful, but I don't really need 
that armor. You know what I mean? I think it would be beneficial would be getting this. This I could give to Borman because uh, he's got a shotgun. Shotguns have kind of shitty range on them. But they've got a decent crit chance. And ever since I changed out his uh, sight, he's been having a bit of issue trying to hit things. So I think this is the more important thing to buy at the minute, actually. Oh, and fucking health packs as well. Safe travels. Fix boss with my dad, and my dad just died. <coughs> so now you're stuck with me. What do you want? Oh, and that increases his range. Oh, his range was eight. No wonder. No wonder his range was shit. I mean, this thing, it only has a, the crit. <laughs> this only has the crit thing on it, and even that has a range of 10. I don't really need the crit thing on it, do I? Or maybe I do. Yeah, yeah, because I'm. It's my silent weapon, and I want to just annihilate people with it. That sight would be great for everyone, to be honest, but. Uh, quick chance is 5%. Take it easy. Switch in the zone. Grave the Ancients. I think it's that city we need to go through that has the uh, game console. Oh, wait, no. Um, let's take out some of those robots, actually. One, I want to see their capabilities. Two, they're a little weaker in this area. And three, I want to get some scrap. Chances are they'll drop scrap. Yeah, they're significantly weaker here, see? And their sensor range is much smaller. Shit. Get back here. It's a high armor, that's a problem. Chance of EMP is what I'm hoping for here. Now it's getting fun. Yes. If we can keep up the EMP on this thing. Yes. Can't sit on fire, I don't think. Oh, does that hurt? You see how many hit points it has, you know. Well, that's not the main problem. The main problem is the armor it has. It has like four <laughs> four fucking layers of armor.
And then it's stunned, it can't do anything, so that's fine. Thankfully, uh, get over here. The explosion doesn't, uh, but it didn't drop anything. Hmm. I certainly would have dropped at least something. Bit of scrap, bit of weapon scrap. Hmm. I'm probably wasting my time then doing that. Oh, no, grave the agents yet. Yeah. I'm probably just wasting my time trying to destroy that thing then. If I cleared out all the enemies of Spirit Heaven, I'd probably just be wasting my time then. At least that's my theory for the moment. Grave of the Ancients. These people couldn't escape their own city, trapped in here with the plague. Mm. Minsko. There's an enemy heard me, but I don't think they did. I don't know how close, uh, how loud the the guns travel, but I'd rather not uh, experiment. Pretty so neat. Oh. There we go. Let's find out exactly how uh, how loud some of these firearms are, shall we? I see. If you can't see him, then uh, over here. If you can't see him. You're more or less fine. It seems. Oh, there's nothing in that building. And again, it seems like they drop nothing. Which I then have to question: What's the fucking point in them? That thing. Yeah, something tells me that thing may drop something. But I'm so close to these enemies here, I'd rather not. Uh this is an old quarantine outpost, back when they thought they could control the spread of the Red Plague, before they built the wall. I'm starting to think their world was worse than ours. Eden's starting to look real good right now, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Shit. Whew. 
Well, that was close. Oh, that's the thing, I've not, um, re-equipped people with weapons, have I? Shit. I better re-equip people with grenades. That would be helpful. Especially as I've got a large selection of, uh, grenades and, uh, EMP, uh, grenades and such. Some weapon over there. I'm thinking. Let's throw a stun grenade on him. He's the only one that's aware that anything has happened. Pile in the room. These, I think, are too close to do fire it with any loud weapons, though, because if we do, I'm sure it'll load more. <laughs> Alright, current stun is three. Hi there. Now. What the fuck? Set it off. Did it just somehow know that we were attacking this thing? That had to hurt. Well, that's great. That alerted everything. And the police robots appear to be on the side of the uh, Mimir robots. So that really fucking helps. If I do that, will it hit them both? I don't know. Looks like it just hits the edge of that big one. Yes, I got him! Oh, okay, yeah, uh, no more need for stealth. Oh, shit! Didn't know I had Overwatch. All right, destroy that one first. You cannot escape the law. <laughs> okay.
Well, oh, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? Seems like the only way I'm getting that item is if I can uh, take out that big robot instead. I don't know, I was silent, so I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's because I destroyed one of the those uh, drones. It like it sets it up so that whenever combat or something happens, it gets involved. go back the other side. My thinking is if I go back the other side I could probably could probably sneak up on it. Or well, chances are That me, honey, but I don't think he heard me. Two rounds to act. hole in the ground. We need to find a way around. Hmm. Well, let's try this again. Again, but this time let's try and uh, deliberately fuck with that thing over there. What's Borman doing up there? Shit. 
on ducks. Stun. Now it's getting fun. Fuck. I think we should start off with the yeah, EMP grenade. Gets better crits if he's on a higher floor. See if I can set off a stun with just a shot here. Nice and quiet. Okay, it's a really bad RNG, or the stun can only cap up to two. Two stacks, rather. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's capped of two stacks. Forty-eight weapon parts. Bloody hell! That's a genius. Right, let's see if I can get that thing off the screen. Mm, apparently not. See if I move somewhere. Let's see if it disappears. Yeah, there you go. I'm thinking of a new tactic. Maybe. Wow, I've got lots of EMP grenades. I didn't know I had that many. Well, I've got a new tactic. I'm thinking we get rid of that one last uh, Mimir bot. 
then we take care of the uh, robots. I mean the police robots. I mean take care of them. I mean we're gonna. That one's scouting now, is it? I swear that one wasn't scouting in the past. Or has its behaviour changed? Oh no, it's a different robot. I think. It comes back and stops there. Did his patrol patterns just change? Same with that guard with that robot there. this thing out first. Nice and silent. No. This is not. Not going too well so far, we haven't stunned it. Hi there. Shit. Yep, it's called the police spots over. You can fly. You can fucking fly. chance to hit which means oh, come on only 25% chance to hit that's bullshit grenades left but looks like I don't have a ch let's see if this will disrupt his field or whatever the fuck that is no it doesn't yeah okay okay <laughs> clearly not the play we should be going with for the minute. This time we're not going to start with Selma because uh, <laughs> right, if uh, Want some more? 
if this thing doesn't get stunned. Or just a sort of symbol to show when people are aware of you. Rather than just, oh, you're not hiding from one character. Right, come on, duck, stun it. <laughs> yeah. He didn't stun it. But I will. Uh, just like how it should have been. Why is it turned to 75 when I go over there? Oh, I guess it gets partial cover. Donut. Yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Doesn't think much, I'm afraid. Ooh, Ooh whoops, two again. Luckily, I've got a couple of uh, EMP grenades, so... My idea is to wait for the patrol. <laughs> and uh, stun all the robots with the EMP grenades. Grenade? Wow, I didn't know I had that many EMP grenades. <laughs> if I did, I would start using them a bit more. <laughs> I guess good thing I didn't. Shit, what the hell? Don't turn your light on. Uh, there's nowhere I higher can climb, is there? Oh, wait. Go over here and get to the top, can I? At least up here, I think I've got a view. Let's see. Do I have a view of. Yes, I do. Oh wait, who else has the EMP? He does. Can he even? Oh, he can. You can reach him. Okay. All right, let's give this a go then. First, stun him. Then stun these two fuckwads. Can do this. <laughs> no enemy, no other enemies around, so why not? I'll have her focus fire on. Uh, the main gut being one here. Right. 
And I'll do the same with this guy. Reload just in case everything goes pear shaped after this. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, they've got one. She's got one more. We've got one more chance. They have to get after this and a stun, then they'll move next turn. Which is not what we wanted to do. We want this to be a wham bam thank you ma'am situation. There is. Oh, how long these corpses have been rotting here? The stench alone. There we go. <laughs> Look at that, they didn't get a single turn in. Get over here. They see them. Oh, bloody allergies. <laughs> Uh, victory sees, I guess. Uh. <sighs> Give me a sec, guys. I do apologize. Uh, uh. Uh. Right, okay, let's see. That right, uh. I like that bloody stupid bot. These ones, these drop stuff. Let's see what's in this. Now, let's get this opened. Ooh. That's the weapon they carry. That's fucking ridiculous. Ho ho ho. Look at that thing. Didn't know I'd be changing weapons so bloody soon. I mean, fucking hell. <laughs> Let me just have a little look around. Nothing I'm missing. There's. Oh, wait. Very gun part. Which is good because I need to. I want to upgrade this fucking thing as soon as possible. I'm kind of annoyed that I ever upgraded those first weapons we found. Not so much with uh, the crossbow because that has been endlessly useful. I still haven't found like another silent weapon to replace it as of yet. Doesn't mean that one doesn't exist. Just I haven't found one yet. Now, let me think. If we... Oh, that's one thing I forgot to do. Right, review for Resident Evil 4. I mean, Resident Evil 0, not 4. I'm on about 4. No, Resident Evil 0, because I streamed that and I've uploaded all the parts of that. Yeah, a bunch of ghouls look weedy, but they're not. They can do a shitload of damage to you. Alright, let's return to the arc quickly. Welcome to the Fix Pit. My name's Delta.
Goodbye, Boomstick. It was nice knowing you. And hello, Mimir PC98. Oh, that one for the additional, uh, for the guaranteed knockback. Now let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Take it easy. Now this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Alright, this is the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City is where we need to get that final artifact. <laughs> and then we can go see what's the name, get an achievement, and have uh... Welcome to the Forbidden City. Be careful. That's not how you spell ambulance! <laughs> Bad joke there. Citizens, present your ID bands for verification. I don't get it. Should I talk to this thing? Is it like smart or what? Let's just try to get through the city peacefully. Yeah, no that's trouble. a bad idea. Your request for emergency quarantine has been granted. Please put down your weapons and prepare for termination. Whoa, whoa. whoa. No termination, okay? Don't think they're talking to us. They're talking to the people who died here. Put down your weapons. Probably because they don't seem to have spotted us. Just talking to the void. We're a bit stupid to mean to start a fight because there's. I think I saw one walk up there as well. Can we actually get around them, or...? Uh, looks like a no on that one, sir. Or is it? Let's see if... Can we jump down? No, we can't jump down there. Shit. Alright, so we can't go through this building and jump out behind them and walk past. We're gonna have to... Go through them somehow. Let's see now. Sneaking is uh, sneaking appears to be out of an option. Stay back. Right, that's ducks I'll clap here. Because I get the uh, benefit from. Oh, no. I need to be closer. 
I mean, Bomb needs to be closer. Her weapon has a better range. The hell? Did you hear that? Someone running around the left somewhere. I'm just hearing shit now. Right, let's have a go, shall we? I saw a light over here, but I don't know how far away that robot was, so... Alright, let's see. These two? Let's get them. Better be safe than sorry. What was a chance I could have knocked him out with a wep the weapon shot, but I don't want to just keep saves going back and forth, you know? Does that hurt? Can't wait to try this weapon out. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Polish him off. That's one down. Two down. Right, now we get a chance to properly take him out. Ho ho! Now video has new sales, does she? I bet. I was just at the bloody arc. Oh, a strong thing. Uh This was increasing great damage would be. Let's have a look at the mutations. Let's see. No. Yes! More life. Now we're getting close to the max. I assume. There we go.
pretty quiet for a city. I think it's smooth sailing from here on out. Look at that fucking thing there. Oh shit. This one is fully functional and probably not friendly toward trespassers. No. Yeah, this is not like ghouls or zone dogs. We can't fight this thing. We need another way around it. Those are some advanced machines. We better be careful. Yeah, especially that thing keeps sending out a bloody pulse and uh, then sending those little mimic things at us. Police robots. That sensor didn't highlight us, did it? For them. Oh shit. Robo Shack has to have something valuable inside, right? Welcome to Robo Shack. Take a look around and let me know if you need anything. Due to new policies, shoplifters will face immediate persecution. <laughs> okay. There you go. Come out, sissy four. Obviously a reference to the Commodore 64, especially with that keyboard there. You know, civil rights protesters called the demo scene. <laughs> this box has clicky buttons and makes some nice sounds when powered on. Hmm. This looks old, even by the ancient standards. Yep. They really made a lot of odd little things, didn't they? They certainly do. Finally, there's a way out of this crazy city. There was probably more loot hidden around, but I really don't feel like trying to take on those big, big ass robots at some of those smaller ones. No mention, I'm sure it's probably going to be so powerful that we can't take it on. I mean, we could try, but it would not be within our uh, benefit. Nearly reached Eden. Nearly. One more step. I oh, know, if I knock this place, let's go back to the Ark to get an upgrade. <laughs> oh 
no. You defy me. Oh, for God's sake. You defy your elder. I told you not to go through the Forbidden City. The city is a tomb. The Rat Plague poisons its air. Strange beings patrol its grounds. Perversions of the ancients. And still you go. Still you seek this ridiculous Eden. There is no Eden. Stop this foolishness before you get yourselves killed. Oh, shut up. Oh yeah, guys, look what came for me in the mail today. Uh, I wouldn't have bought snacks if I uh, knew that was coming today. They should have. It should have arrived tomorrow. Farewell. Remember your elder's guidance. Remember his elder's guidance. But fuck off. Welcome. If you want zone gear, I've got it. Well, if I don't want zone gear, then tough shit. <sighs> Safe travels. Don't have something to say? No matter what the Elder says, there is life beyond the Ark. You see those giant machines floating in the sky lately? <laughs> Where do you think they come from, huh? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Later, stalkers. Uh, Pip's place. Well, look what the zone wolf dragged there in. There we go. Good to see you. Woohoo! Salente! Alright, that's everything. That's all the artifacts then. Until Seas of Evil, but uh, I'm not going to be streaming that. I'll just. Uh, I can't. I have to go to the sealed gate. Yep. Place called the sealed gate. They're apparently going f around the city, the ghouls are, so I'm assuming that way. Which is going to be harsher, I would imagine. Seems the Nova sect has beaten us to it. Shit. Stay alert. Holy ancients power. I feel the gates breaking. The sacred numbers call to us. Launch codes, I'm guessing, is their so called secret numbers. Weapons haven't improved, so I can't really take them down silently. Change that reference to that one. Because the fact is, if we get into a battle with these assholes. Oh, it's coming this way now. Hmm. If we didn't find that psychic, psychic, I'd rather we were able, we able to take him out of commission by. Home! 
Well, the ancients are dead, I'm afraid. So this is it. Eden. And we got a Nova Set convention right out front. <laughs> this is suicide. Yeah. We can't take them on. Agreed. Especially as there's like a uh, buddy meant bot right there. And a, a, a pyro person right next to him. It would be suicide to just charge in there and try and take them out. Plus my silent weapons aren't powerful enough to... Aren't powerful enough to take out the uh, med bot there. Or the pyro. Although the only um, difference is with a med bot is that at least I could have a chance to stun him. Unfortunately, he appears to be so close to that pyro that if I so much as uh, wink in his direction, he'll bled. I so much as uh, fart in his general direction, he'll know I'm here. So we're gonna have to go sneaky, sneaky. Oh fuck! Wait, what? Hi, there's High Priestess Plutonia, who's the main villain, and she appears to be guarding the uh, quote-unquote gate to Eden. Or at least I assume that's what that is. Mm, could go up there and try and get some. risk my life to get some scrap, but I don't think so. Oh, look! Plenty more! Uh, Grog milkers, as they were called. But something tells me he would be interested if I got like five of the artifacts. <laughs> it would kind of cheapen the one that we took so long to get from that place. Work harder! Break the gates down! And find the sacred numbers! Or as we're pretty certain what she means to launch codes. Because she seems to have this idea that if uh, the idea is to wipe out mutant kind by digging themselves into a shelter and then nuking the place and then coming up and reclaiming the place. Reclaiming it all. to go. Uh, uh, no, I can't go. Fuck. Okay, so I can't go that way. A gun was well worth it though that I got for uh, Borman. Uh. Trying to kill Plutonia is going to be suicide. So let's try and go over to the right side of the city. <laughs> there appears to be no right side of the city. Oh, 
Whoa, I didn't see that butcher before. And a tank. Great. And a sect hunter and a sect hunter. <sighs> Great. Well, it seems like there's no way around these fools apart from straight through them. Can we get past them on the right? It's a shame there's no like mini map or something for me to be able to tell if there's like more to this map than what I can currently see. And the answer appears to be a resounding no. Fucking great. Right, we need to knock this asshole down. We should alert him as well. Now it's getting fun. That alerted everyone though. Stay in stealth. Take the swine! No sweat! On it! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Immune, bitch! Oh, he's blocked by the smoke. Ugh. No, can't get both. No, oh, get both of them though. I think. Oh, he's already on fire. Don't worry about him then. That had to hurt.
Oh wait. Overwatch. Let's see, um in the smoke. If I step there, I can shoot him, can I? Uh but then I'm gonna be wounded on the floor and I Carry out an action after spending all action points. So I can move there. Heal myself up. Oh no, what? I thought that would allow me to. Uh. No point in my bloody uh I should move to there. Fuck it. Now it's getting fun. Ah, oh, shit. And now he's up. You are one of the chosen. Here, let me help you. Right, let's get ducks up. Not too shabby. Now. <laughs> yes! Just like XCOM, the mental feedback fucked him up. <sighs> yeah, well, so are you, sir. 
That's a very bad situation, but it seems I've recovered it. If I flew up, could I? No. No, 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 okay. Never mind. <laughs> Back of the head. Great work. Can't quite reach him from here. A bit closer, and then I'll overwatch. Overwatch. He's gonna fuck up one way or another. Those are fucking Molotovs. And ducks can overwatch. Overwatch. Haha! <laughs> you forgot to overwatch. Do da, do da. I've got loads of these fucking Molotovs, I might as well just keep throwing them. Overwatch. Overwatch. <laughs> Bye. Nice. Not too shabby. Let's see what we got. Weapon parts. Weapon parts. Would be good if I got a new weapon for them, but mm, not currently. Ooh, two mini kits. Now that's useful. Scrap. Mm. Why are the bloody tanks carrying shit like scrap? I'll never know. It should be something far more. Bring the sacred numbers to me! God, will she shut up about the fucking sacred numbers? Alright, let's try and... Uh, hmm. Oh, I've got no more explosive fuckers. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Whoa, this would be suicide. I just noticed that rope all the way over there. Shit. What if we... Just thinking, if we can 
that somehow attract them over to here. Would they fight the Nova Sect? That wouldn't last two minutes, to be honest, because they've got that giant robot on their side. I've already been down here, there's nothing here, is there? What is that? Oh. Well, there's a boat and gun for all weapon parts. Next to, yes, they're right next to each other, which should mean it would alert. There were items like in um, in Dead State. They have like these little noise items, and it's actually like a mechanic for drawing zombies into an area. And it's really fun to like, you, like there was this area where the level was filled with these bi biker gangs, but they also had like a big contained area filled with zombies. So what I did was I snuck around. I opened the gates to both places, threw the noise crackers and stuff in that area. And then I ran away and basically just hid until, uh, and then until, and then the zombies would come out of their place, run into the bikers. The bikers AI would then sh start shooting at them. The gunfire would then start attracting more zombies to the area. And then before you know it, it's uh, an absolute bloody madhouse. Right, how the fuck are we going to get into that sealed gate? It's already established that there's no way for us to take on the Nova Sect here. You can't take them all on. Or... Can we? Maybe not all of them, but we could definitely take on, uh, say, if we were super duper stealthy. I think that overlays, doesn't it? Let's find out. for that thing. What's up? Well, I 
thank god it's not close enough for the med bot to bloody react. Petunia, Tank Hunter, Medbot Pyro. Ugh. Oh shit. She can't move that way, can she? Fuck. If I move there, I'll look. A new enemy, which I really don't want to do. No, I can use normal weapons here and not get hurt. Yeah, yeah move there. Okay. No, 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 that was bullshit. It destroyed the cover and then my characters had their lights out for some reason. <sighs> oh, that was close this time. Hey, follow me. Let's see, there's nothing over here, any uh, importance. It's just that robot is one of the worst things for us to uh, take out. That's the thing, we've taken out the robot. And that big robot is a pain in the ass. Uh-huh. Now ducks. Ducks is gonna need to be in a decent position. I don't want him just to hit a few cat few certain people I wanted to be able to uh, snipe even oh, oh, maybe not that way snipe even like Plutonia and that so I'm thinking if I set myself up over here oh there's the police Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I set myself up here, and I should be able to, uh. Let's experiment. Yep, I can get her. Okay. Right, 
let's let's first uh, piss off the enemy. <gasps> Wait, no, 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 no. Let's. Uh... I don't want to just fucking die next turn. So I want to. Uh... Seven... Oh, there we go. I can I can tie up Yeah there we go. Alright, let's try this again. Now that I've got things probably equipped. Right now. Can tie up these two. Yeah, I'm gonna attract their attention regardless, so. Uh. Fuck you, Plutonia! <laughs> now you're on fire as well! I better take care of that med bot because, uh. He's gonna be one of the worst uh, things to deal with in this. Let's see how this battle goes. If not, then I'll have to change positions and shit. reach all of them though. Making it easy to hit them. But I better not waste this shot. I assume she's a psychic like the others, but let's find out first. Oh yeah! Too far, I did not know it. Didn't. I was afraid I did. <sighs> Shit. Double shot. One. Ah, yes. Even a defensive area? No, there's no defense there at all. Uh, 
No defense there either. Shit. I need to move somewhere. What is that? Shit on the floor? Uh, hmm. Yeah, shit running gun. That's it. We need to take care of. Oh, 100% crit. That's still 100% hit. Nice. Oh god damn it! She has that same ability when she blocks the first attack. No, don't think so. Does that hurt? Yeah, didn't block me that time, did you, bitch? Only 75% chance, but fuck it. <laughs> right, med bots out the way. That's two of the biggest threats. Taking down that guy. He's closer to you. Get that annoying freak. Back to crushing skulls. What? I clearly banked on the wrong. Yeah, that was, uh, hmm. That was the wrong position to take. I think I felt I got right was the, uh, Is behind. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, good. 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 Hey, follow me. There we go. I'm gonna move Vorman. Now I'm gonna change that to the knockout. 
because it seems that the real people we have to worry about are Plutonia and the Medbot. But at least with the Medbot, if the Medbot can't move, it can't heal. Plutonia, whether she can move or not, she can still heal and bring people back to life, so we need to knock her down and just uh, do what we did to the other psycho and just uh, beat the fuck out of her repeatedly. To use the technical term. Oh. To use the technical term, I think that's the best idea. So you get both of them. Because both the tank and that robot are problematic. Oh, come on! George, fuck you, Plutonia. If I ignore, will those robots have heard? Oh. Care you if it don't step into the light? I'm on my way. Fuck off. If I move one step this way, will they still hear me? That's the question. Shit, the turning is blocked by smoke. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Didn't say alert anyone. Maybe I should move there instead. <sighs> I'll burn both of them. I can look. Oh, now we have. Now we've drawn them over, it seems. Even though, again, it didn't say as such. Injury detected. Approach vector calculated. <laughs> Thank you for using up that guy's overwatch. Because that was a real pain in the ass. Didn't have an overwatch, did he? I must have done.
<laughs> okay, you damaged your own uh, friend there. That's helpful. I could see her. Lying fucking system. It said moving there, I'd see her. It was just to fucking beat her in. But I can't really do that if, uh. Fuck it, throw the smoke grenade. Smoke grenade is not gonna help because I can't bloody beach all the way over there. If I could land it there so that poor Borman here wouldn't get shot, then that's the advantage, but. What's the right? Surely you can see him. Are you shitting me? Fifty percent chance. 25%! He's probably running over here to revive those guys. Still hidden. 
<laughs> You're burning, bitch. Oh, has he just started? Yep, he started the fight with the police. Whoops. Don't step into the light. I'm on my way. Uh. Yeah, just keep uh, harming your tank. That's that's really working for you, isn't it? Now he can see me, okay. Uh. No line of sight, no line of sight, no line of sight, shit. Haha! <sighs> <laughs> well, that's revealed myself. Attracted the police to deal with him. Holy Fuck off. No. You stay the fuck down. Alright, now we don't have the med bot to worry about. But we still got the fucking tank. Now I'm not aiming for Borman. But by smoke. I've got no line of sight the others. If I... Oh! I go up here... I get a very nice line of sight to everyone. Including this annoying fucking tank who... Needs to die! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Shit! There's no point in taking him down, was there? Feels so good. Or would you just resurrect him like that? No, oh, damn it, Borman! to have a line of sight on someone. Or at least, uh... How far can this go? Yeah, there's no way I can reach her as well, so... I'll go for it. Him. And run to here. Ooh. 
I didn't get you. Bingo. Go on, Bowman, snap out of it. The bird, hit him. No, Bowman, snap out of it. I don't feel so good. Uh. Take him out. No more. So there's no more Overwatch from him. Our oh, Borman. <sighs> Fucking run and gun. We need to take out that Plutonia bitch. At least I can tie her down to one position. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, the police did kill that one chap. Okay. Die, you unholy corruptors. Oh. Fuck off. You don't think unholy here misses you. Oh, come on. No, I can't until I move. Great. I've only got one of those left, so. How'd you like more Tovs, miss? I love him. <laughs> yeah, that, that, quick, 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 Piss off. Comply. 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 How about no? How about no? How about no? Oh, you mother. <laughs> no! Need some help. You will No, you won't. Fuck off. Fuck off. Like that's fucking fair. <sighs> I 
Maybe I need to reposition ducks. Because where he is, he becomes fucking cannon fodder of those police. Can't find a better location for him though. Oh wait, how do we get up there? Hmm. I think there's a way up there, isn't there? Yes, I'll go up here instead. I wish I could turn it around as to... Oh wait, I can, technically. If I start combat over here, it might end up with me doing the hog rush this way. Oh, oh come on, can't I just change the hog rush to push that way? Uh, fine. Shot. Because I need to grab both the Metabot and him. At least I know she can't bring the Metabot back. Plutonia from up here. But not uh norm not in the crit. There we go. Personal injury personal injury boss. Yeah, that pissed off the sect hunter a bit. Yeah, I can still hit Plutonia. Brilliant! Medbot die! Nearly destroyed, I think. If I fucking move out that cloud, dead. Stay in this cloud then for the minute. The female and her! God, I thought I could finish the game by now, but no, this bloody battle is uh, not as straightforward as I uh, had hoped. Come on! Oh, oh nearly! That fucker's overwatch is going to be a problem. Medbot down! Oh, 
whatever. Uh, grenade. Actually, wait a minute. She's on fire, right? That means she's gonna die when she gets up. So, just. There we go! Ha ha ha! Oh shit! You bastard! Should just uh there you go. that'll make you better. Much appreciated. Because I think yes she does, haha. -ha. Right, okay. Move and then we're gonna root you to the spot again. Firing a tractor? No, it probably didn't. Split as a smoke, you get immune to the fire. Ah! Right, fucking eat this. That's two of the most problematic enemies. Up. Actually, it's all all of the prob most problematic enemies out of the game so far. Oh. We've only got one pack, so I better heal ducks. Nasty wound. Let me fix it. You're the best. Yeah, I don't think so. Fifty percent chance, so that's not what I'm after. Hi there. <laughs> No point using that fire on the pyro. Yeah, it seems I'm immune to fire from this in the smoke.
Overwatch. Yeah, you can't even shoot him when you're up close to them, can you? <sighs> yeah, if I stand here. Fire! Not today, Dick White. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice gun. Sweet. You wasted him. Yes, we did it. I'm okay. That okay. is that. Arc 1. Nova Sect 0. Their insane plans to destroy our home vanish into the wind. We're safe. Our people live another day. The smoke clears. Ears still ringing. On the edge of my blurred vision, something comes out of the arc. Light dancing across my arm, up my face. Scanning look up. I'm being scanned by some giant eyeball. Hmm. Then Dux and Pharaoh get scanned. Then Magnus and Selma. The light cuts out and the eyeball darts back inside the wall. We hear pistons churning, gears turning. A machine humming back to life. The gates of Eden open. Maybe Eden sees we're mutants and welcomes us home. Seems to be the case. And in silence. The five of us are all mutants, found and raised by the Elder. This feels like an answer to the question that's plagued our lives. Who are we? And do we go in and find out? When Ducks and me first started out, everything was cut and dried. The Elder knew best. There were no answers in the zone. Mutants didn't know who they were, where they came from. And that was fine. No one cared. But now, after the enemies we fought, after the friends we found, after all we've seen, the five of us stand here at the gates of Eden. Do we go in? Do we want to know who we are? Why we were created this way? We won. Now we can finally open the gate and see Eden. If we want to. <laughs> actually, actually, I really want to. Scrap, drop that, drop that. <sighs> oh yeah, I destroyed that robot back over here. Oh no, 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 that's a previous one. I saw that robot where he fucking stood. So we've already picked up his gear. She just had an EMP grenade on her? Come on, man. Alright, let's see what's beyond Eden, shall we? And then despite it being um, past the three hour mark, I'm gonna I get started on observation. My past, but I recognize this place. I've been here before. Have you? Well, apparently they all came from here, We've so... I've seen that star before. Nimir. It was on the flying machines Hammond was tracking. They really did come from Eden.
Did something delayed. That looks like a launching phase for missile. Mutant project. That looks like. Military recall. Command is in a state of total panic following the loss of Orbital Z1. Order has been issued to return all militarized bots and equipment directly to Unit Theta. My suspicions are confirmed without a shadow of a doubt. We are at war. I can only hope that this is quick, regardless who wins. Oh, so the machines turn on them, did they? That's what I'm thinking. Mutant Project. Why is it called the Mutant Project? I mean, why create mutants in this? You want to, you know, have them examine and go into the zone, but then why does this place look like it's so deserted and messy? It looks like no one's lived here in years. Let's try that one before we get on the main entrance. Well, clearly people must be all dead then, because... Uh, this may sound crazy, but I knew that med pack was going to be there. Project cancelled. Evaluation orders being given in description. Order has been issued for all research, including the healthy biological subjects. This has upset a number of us, not just for ethical reasons, but for the sheer loss of what we have accomplished. News has hit Ingma particularly badly. He has locked himself in the birthing chamber with the subject refuses to open the door. Ingma. Oh, Ingma! That's the chap who's been leading those notes! So he potentially, it seems like he potentially created the Nova sect by accident because he didn't want crazy fuckers who want to nuke the world. And the mutants. Hmm. <gasps> what if the Elder is Ingma? That would make a bit more sense. That would make more sense to make it sound like... Because he just happens to have, you know, found all these mutants and raised them as his children. Just so happens, you know. All these mutants all happen to have been picked up and raised by him. None of them had any uh, memory of who they were before they ran into him. And... They all, as uh, Haman was saying, came from Eden. So chances are he's... That's why he sees us as children, because we basically are his children. More machines. They seem to be asleep. And he doesn't want us coming back here because he doesn't want us to uh, discover the truth. Why did the Elder lie to us? Why did he keep us from this place? I don't know if we should find out. But I don't think we have a choice. We're being drawn to something. I've heard about places like this, but to see it myself... It's like a playground. Peace talks fail. It is <coughs> a tense and dreadful time. We have heard whispers that the peace talks have broken down irreparably. And to confirm this somewhat, command has just ordered us to consider Elysium as hostile and to forcibly remove, if necessary, any Elysium diplomats and scientists from the facility. Bloody hell. That just because they might be from there doesn't mean they're going to mm, be traitors. Although I would understand if you're being careful. Amazing. Plants and vegetation this far underground. Hmm. Although it still looks as war-torn as upstairs. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess that's what happens when you reuse assets, eh? This is pop that's probably an education area. Because these people are probably cloned as, you know, children. Big snout. Exactly. Masks. General lack of humor. This is a picture of Borman. Hmm. No doubt about it. Although regardless of what you find here, I'd still... If I was these people, I would still stay with the Ark, try and help humanity in that. Try and maybe make Ark uh, a much better place. The first room. Oh, this gate. This Whoa! Corpse. That's not a human skull. That must belong to a mutant. An actual mutant. Hmm. Were they dissecting him? Did he die of a natural, unnatural cause? <laughs> Bone density report 12W. Regression of in skull skeletal mass against self tissue mass to the body tr mass. Skeletal mass. Visiting birds, black squares, side line, rodents, and bats. Lower in electronic. Supplementary material to the mass of mammal skeletons, which you've said as added to accounts for the fact that mammal bones are not from eyes but contain marrow. Regression slopes do not differ slightly. Given the skin of mass analysis, the bird skeletons is the bones. Hmm, well, that's not too surprising because, uh, oh no, it is because rodents. I didn't think rodents had like hollow bones. I know birds do. But maybe it just means the mutants, mutant birds are, have a very similar thing. Don't you need maximum likelihood of da 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 and zero or four haplotypes were examined. 95% confront and uh, confidence interval of PNG was da da da. Uh, interval considerably large because uh, I don't completely understand this. Oh, here we go. Northern wild boars. See, it was five times more frequent. That's obviously talking about Borman. Borman is one of the uh, characters, anyway. He's clearly discussing. Uh, I don't know, aggression? Yeah, look at those pictures, that's ducks on the right. Uh, that might be Pharaoh on the left, because that looked like an animal skull. Oh, well, it could be Borman, to be honest. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that familiar with uh, animal skulls. These are all the chambers and they're all empty. Skeleton there. That console. It seems like it's inviting us in. Like it wants to reveal its secrets to us. And these are all baby chambers. Let's investigate this. 
We huddle around the screen. The words, Mutant Project Blink, on and off in big red letters. Hmm. The screen turns black, then explodes with a flurry of flashing images, faster than we can take in. I catch glimpses of mutants in test tubes, animals in cages, strands of code, something called DNA. The screen freezes on one final image. Yep. An employee profile. A scientist of the Mutant Project. It says his name is Ingmar Edison. His face. When we see his yep, face. told ya. Those eyes staring back at us. We couldn't believe it. It was him. The Elder. The profile says his status was revoked after stealing mutant experiments from the lab. Memories come flooding back. We were the experiments. They raised us in tubes and played games with our DNA. Made us freaks. The Elder was part of this. Happy endings died with the ancients. Why didn't he tell us? Who is he? The room spins. The truth comes flooding back into my brain. Everything I know is a lie. I lose my balance. As the room turns black, a voice crackles onto the radio. Ghost-like, ethereal, like the ancients call it down from space. Command Center Sweden. Coming, Command Center Oh, it's in Sweden, that's it. Now, what is that automated? Or are there actually people out there ready to meet up with the Ark? Ah. Well, I'll have to check the uh, DLC out after afterwards, won't I? Anyway, like I said, I'm going to move into. Uh, Pardon me. Observation after this. Mausoleum of Suburbia. Oh, what the fuck? Look at the Elder. Isn't he at the Ark? Or maybe he ran away because he knew how close we were to the truth. So as it ended Eden, the Elder mysteriously wandered off into the zone. Well, like I said, I'm not going to play this bit. I'm not. <sighs> oh, no, we want an observation. One, we rescued Hammond. Two, we kicked the bad guys' asses. Why are we freezing our butts off chasing some old loony? <laughs> we should be back at the Ark getting a little hero treatment. Our victory parade will have to wait. Let's fetch him back before he gets himself killed out there. The truth? That we're all his science projects? Nah, thanks. Let him run. We don't need him. Tell that to the Ark. Mm. It's chaos back there. We'll drag the Elder back, force him to make things right. And keep taking his orders? You're all grown up and able to think for yourself, aren't you? Enough chit-chat. Let's go find the Elder. <laughs> Ducks makes a good point, though. Because, you know, he did lie to us and everything. Anyway, I'll exit out of this for now. And let me change... Uh, let's change over to observation, because I really want to get... Ooh, this is the eggs that I saw in the achievements. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we'll... Uh, it's not been too successful of a stream, so I mean, uh, of a thing to stream. So let's try.